Four. Pissing me because I asked out Langston. Well, thanks for dropping me off. You know, I'm gonna get to bed. I'm really tired. Langston, don't go in yet. We need to talk about what happened at Ford's. What do you mean? Are you seriously thinking about going out with his brother? Why not? Yes, I'm pissed off because you asked out Langston. Why? I thought you said you were through with her. Through with her? You make it sound like she's somebody. Like she's or... what? Disposable, like a piece of trash. Hey, hey, don't talk about her like that. Well, at least I'm just talking. Seems like you actually treated her like that. Yeah, I did. And obviously, she's getting back at me by going out with you. Oh, and here I thought that she was going out with me because I was the better looking brother. Well, anyway, why do you care who Langston goes out with? I thought you weren't interested in her. Yeah, and thanks for telling her that. God, what the hell were you thinking? Oh, I don't know. I was trying out this new crazy thing called the truth. Maybe you've heard of it. Did you become such a little... You know what? Maybe I heard you wrong when you said, I'm not interested in Langston. If not she enough. wants a serious man, I'm not, not her guy. Stop. What did you mean by Stop. that? Stop. Stop it. Okay, maybe I don't want Langston, but neither do you. You're just mad because you can't have Star. You don't know why you shouldn't go out with James. He's Ford's brother. Trust me. I know. Besides, the only reason we went over there was to tell James that I don't want to be with him. Yeah, well, obviously you got through to him. And you only came with me for moral support. Yeah, I know. Look, Langston, you are an incredible person. Millions of guys would like to go out with you. But... But you gotta know why he asked you out. Yeah, because I'm an incredible person. Star, I'm not stupid. James was obviously hurt when you blew him off. So you do know that the only reason he asked you out was, was because he thought it would make you jealous. And from the way you've been acting, I think he was right. Langston, why would I be jealous? I'm a whole. Okay, but you told me that when you and James were on the run and you kissed, there was a moment where you felt something. Yeah, there was a moment. That's all that it was. I told you that and I told Cole that. Okay, so why do you care if I go out on a date with him? Uh, because he's... Ford's brother. Do you remember Ford? The guy who wrecked your relationship with Marco just because he could? Yeah, I remember. Like, he messed with your head, he messed with your life, and if you think that you're over that, you're so wrong. Okay, maybe you're right, but James is not Ford. Well, you don't have to tell me. Do you really want to get involved with a guy who stole $50,000? He put my life in danger. I could have died. Wait, wait, wait. Now James is the bad guy? It wasn't too long ago. You were defending him. Lang, he's using you. I know. I'm using him, too. So what if I want to get under Star's skin? I can't take a play out of your book? Oh, you think she's just going to get so jealous that she's going to admit she's into you? It could happen. It'd be great if it did. But she said she's not interested, so I'm a free agent. Besides, you said Langston was so much fun. And she's definitely hot. So why can't I grab what I can? God, you sound just like Dad. You don't care who gets hurt just as long as you get what you want. Oh, yeah? I thought I sounded more like you. I asked for... So the only reason you're going out on a date with James is to get back at Ford? Of course. Did you see Ford's face when I said yes? Yeah, and I also saw your face when James said that Ford didn't want anything to do with you. And you were hurt again. And now you want to hurt Ford back? Yes. Yes, I do, because he deserves it. Ford thinks that just because he's great in bed, I'm going to come running back to him. Doesn't matter how horribly he treats me or how many other girls he's sleeping with at the same time. Let's see how he feels when I'm out with his baby brother. Let him sit there and wonder what we're doing. Are you listening to yourself, Langston? You are going from one bad situation to another. It's just a date. Oh. Hello, girls. I'm in mitts. Oh. Bye, girls. Okay. I thought 
Dorian didn't have any more use for David these days. Well, I guess she just couldn't get him out of her system, just like you can't get Ford out of yours. Which is why I need to go out with somebody else. I mean, God, how long am I supposed to punish myself for? Marco's already moved on to California. I need to get back out there. With almost anyone else. What is the big deal? I'm single, James is single. Not to mention, he's pretty darn cute. Stop being a jerk and call off this date with Langston. No. Why should I? Well, maybe because I'm paying for this apartment and I'm paying for everything else in your life. Oh, so that gives you the right to control my life? You know what? You want me to leave? I will. Fine. Maybe you should. Are you seriously kicking me out? Okay. You know what? I'll just go look up Mom. I'm sure she'll let me live with her. We're not going to live with them. So you're not going to throw me out? No. I'm sorry. James, sit down for a second. Listen. This newfound mother and brother of ours, they're family in name only. You and I, we're the only family we've got. Now, I know I owe you for leaving you alone with Dad, and that's why I'm trying to protect you right now. Protect me from what? Langston. She's bad news. Come on. No, I'm serious. Did you know that she cheated on her live-in boyfriend just so to sneak around with me? I mean, you can't trust a chick like that. Come on. Rose before hoax. Thanks for the heads up about Langston. I can take care of myself. All right. You want to go out with Langston? Go. Just... Just what? She's already been through enough already. Okay, don't take advantage of her. Or trust me, bro. I will bury you. Don't worry, Bobby. I'm not gonna do anything that you wouldn't do. I get the whole you dating James thing to get back at Ford, but there's no way that this can end well. Why? What's the worst that can happen? He pretends to forget his wallet and I sneak out the back? Langston, you're getting involved with him for all the wrong reasons. I'm not getting involved with anybody. You think hey, you do you have the strawberries? Do you have the whipped cream? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I think I'll be ordering takeout from now on. <laughs> Start. Look, you're my best friend, okay? And I know that you don't want me to get hurt again. But here's the good news. I'm not gonna... And right now, all I'm worried about is you. So if it really bothers you that I'm going out with James because you still have feelings for him... No, I don't have feelings for him. I... I... Yeah, I don't. At all. Okay. So then, think of it this way. If James is out on a date with me, he's not going to have a chance to do anything to you. And then you and Cole can go back to being a perfect couple without any interference from James or Crazy Anna. All right. Get home. <laughs> hey, it's me, 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 are we okay? Of course we're okay, Langston. I just want you to be careful. I will be. Come here. I said, it's just one date. No biggie. I'm going back to bed, so try and keep the music down, all right? Coming. Officer, are you here about the noise? It's this guy's fault. I'm so sorry, I didn't even realize. Yeah, it's not about the noise, just a few questions. Is it a little late for that? No, not for a minute. 